I'm Nicole with KVRX and I am lucky enough to be here with Doug Gillard Hi. of many bands. He's of his own band lately. He's also of Death of Samantha, Jim, Cobra Verde, and Guided by Voices previously. How, how is Texas treating you? Uh, very nice. Um, I've played here before uh, as a solo, my solo band, but um, it's about the third or fourth time I think. And uh, this time was really great. Doug has been in music for a while. If you had to tell the story, uh, if someone made you write some sort of biography, if you had to tell a story, would it be a pop-up book or a graphic novel? I'd say a graphic novel. Any particular reason you just like graphic novels? Not pop-up pop -up books uh, have, seem to have few words in large print and uh, a lot of pictures. And not many pages. <laughs> These are I'm, all the things we need for this story. <laughs> I'm old now, so um, it would be a novel. Doug did not actually bring his New York band. He um, cleverly assembled a lot of Austin musicians, including one. Uh, is it John McC McCain? Uh, the bass player's yeah. name is Robert John McCain, okay. spelled M C C A N E, yeah, and he's the bass player for a band. Uh, from Texas and from Austin now called Zest of Yore. Yeah, and you actually co-produced their latest? I co-produced uh, the latest one that's out. They're working on another one right now. But they're from Denton and Austin. Good songwriters. How did it go with the brand new Mishmash band? Pretty nice. Uh, you guys? Yeah. I thought I was, it sounded good. I'm I was lucky enough to find great people and uh, George Duran, the drummer, uh, who's played in Dump Truck, played a little bit with Rocky Erickson, now he plays in Sally Crew and The Sudden Moves, uh, was my drummer. Um, and I also had a guy I knew from Cleveland when I lived there, Doug Nimzura, who lives here now, play rhythm guitar, so. Cool. So, that came out with an album last year, called Perspective, mm -hmm. and it was I really liked. Um, but it's kind of hard to classify. Uh, well, what are you hoping that people are getting taking away from this album. It's a pretty, pretty diverse album. Yeah, I, I guess I guess the fact that it is hard to classify is what I want them to take away. No. <laughs> Not just that. Um, mysterious. I, I guess that there's a complexity of music on the record uh, is kind of what I would like to convey. Uh, and I hope they think the songs are catchy and uh, like like the song. I mean, that's really kind of what I'm going for, what I usually go for. If you had to trade your tour van car in for a dinosaur, what would you choose? For an actual species of a dinosaur? Mm -hmm. hmm. This exposes my lack of knowledge of all the things. It's not I a would, pop quiz. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe a pterodactyl. That'd be good. You can get you can get from place to place. It's pretty practical. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and still, still, you know, still pretty badass. Semi large. Semi large. And uh, we'll end with if you could break any world record, what would it be? If I could break any world record, mm -hmm. hmm. that yeah. one. I really have to think about a week for that. <laughs> to answer that one. Anything off the top of your head? Uh. Most most songs listened to by people in the world. That's a good one. That I, that were written. That I may, may have written. <laughs> cool. Thanks so much for joining me. Oh, thank you.